this is uh, the Titan. This is another uh, uh, Netflix movie. I don't know if they made it or acquired it. Uh, but I do know it has the same level of quality of the other Netflix movies. Has declared Los Angeles uninhabitable. The base is full square Near future. miles. Fall under NATO command. To be sure, Lieutenant, we're highly classified. Highly you classified ground. You're going to be the first man on Titan. It's just an honor to have been selected, sir. I'm not going to let you down. Our resources have been depleted. In 10 years, half the world's population will have starved to death. Half the planet will be uninhabitable. But there is one place that gives us hope. The largest moon of Saturn. What if Titan could become our home? You will become enhanced humans. Most of you will fail. Some people will break during the training. You're talking forced evolution. I'm talking survival of the species. This is the best thing for narrative. Uh, tell, don't show. It's bigger than all of <laughs> that. Old, that old trope. <laughs> <That's>, yeah. <laughs> tell me everything that should be happening like instead of showing it to me. Telling is cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> the this is walk through the whole film? Research. Pretty much, yeah. At least violent. the first three quarters. I want to finish it. I can see everything. There is something alive inside of him. He's a soldier. There's no going back. I wouldn't have thought I would have got this far. How can you possibly know what he is becoming? If we can't control him, all of us are dead. <laughs> Looks like he never makes it to Titan. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't quite get that far. Um, you know, Sam Worthington is that kind of movie star where you see him in a movie and you go, why is he a movie star again? Yeah, name the... You know, remember that one, that really amazing Sam Worthington movie? Mm, mm. See yeah. what I'm talking about? Can anyone here go, oh, remember Sam Worthington when he was in... Mm. So you're saying he should just be Sam Inkton? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, when's a, when's a good <laughs> Sam Inkton film? Yeah, uh, you know, like I th wasn't he in like he's probably like in one of the Terminator movies, like a uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he is, and it's not Salvation, Salvation which is yeah. not a good one. No, mm -mm. there's no Sam where, where you're like Sam. Wow, he wasn't was, he? Was he in a TV series that wasn't half bad? That that's kicking around in my head for some reason. These well, pauses are answering your yeah, questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Especially, I'm thinking like, I wasn't think he in something good? I, that was, I, I, remember that one thing that he might have been is not been bad. I vaguely yeah. see him sort of playing a guy. I, I also oh, wait, no, that was someone else. I also feel like you know <laughs> we're saying like, oh, Sam Worthington, he really made that movie. Like, no, I've never said that either. So yeah. uh, name another bad movie he's been in, Aaron. Um, Clash of the Titans. Ah, there we go. Good okay. Lord. Oh, maybe it was the really good Clash of the Titans one where they went in after and added 3D. Was it one of that? Was it that one? Uh, I think so. Yeah, oh, wow. So uh, anyway, uh, that movie, well, we saw most of it already. Right. So, you know, you can already. Yeah, yeah he goes nuts and done. he kills everybody and they never make yeah. it to the planet and the world dies. Yeah. 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 yeah, and then Taylor Schilling's character gets thrown in jail. Yeah. Right. <laughs> for, you know, for being married to him. Yeah. So. For a minor drug offense. Right. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, all right. So, I think the takeaway is don't go to Titan. <laughs> it's on Netflix, and I, it's we've talked about this before, but I feel like the people in the film department at Netflix and the people in the TV department never meet. No, they don't talk to each <laughs> they other. They never talk to each yeah, other because it's like there's a definitely different their TV shows are so great. quality control for sure. And uh, I really feel like every studio has a uh, kind of unwritten agreement, like. Look, we're all in this together. Only sell your shitty stuff to Netflix. <laughs> the all script the stuff will never you don't sell. want. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna call Netflix. Yeah, yeah. This Cloverfield bullshit. Give it to Netflix. <laughs> and then, like, who are the most gifted episodic writers in in the, that have ever lived? Let's yeah, we'll, we'll, give, we'll go, get them. Get, get hire them. them. Over to yeah, yeah, yeah. I and, wonder if it has to do with Netflix insistence not to put their movies in theaters before. They put it on Netflix. They insist on day and date, which Amazon is like, no, fine. We'll give it a 90-day run before we put it on Amazon. Right. That's fine. I wonder if that 
that loosens up the negotiations and that keeps Netflix from getting the good movies where well, it's not an issue with TV. It still doesn't okay. explain Death Note. Nothing explains <laughs> Death Note. <laughs> but the, no, but I, no, Science cannot explain <laughs> Death Note. I think you bring up a great point though. I've never heard that explained that way, Tom. And I think that might do it because the movies that like are compelling scripts get bought up because they know like, well, if nobody buys us, then we come to the the ninety nine, you know, the second hand store. Of, yeah, yeah. They're like the raw stress for less of film scripts. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's yeah. that that's that's what it feels like. That's well, a great we go, point. We go there last. Right. Yeah. When we're versus shopping. if you're an episodic writer, you go there first. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's they, not like Netflix lacks the money. They have the money. No, There's no the excuse. Issue. Yeah. They mm-hmm. and they know they have taste. They create amazing stuff. They create yeah. Yeah, amazing yeah. stuff. They pick really cool stuff. Mm-hmm. But then these things that they produce, I understand if this was just made, somebody made it, it was sitting on a shelf and Netflix says, ah, buy it. That I totally get. Just fill up our calendar, our, our catalog, but we're going to put money into this. And yeah, I, unless, unless they, you know what it might be, they might have some, some data that's like these type of movies, we make them for $15 yeah. million. They stream, we get the streaming you know they get. Uh, they do. They crunch that data. You know I'm they sure do. Sure they do. So, yeah. so maybe maybe they're just like, no guys, we don't need to. It doesn't have to be good. People will still watch it and keep their subscription. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like you know they were happy with Bright, you know, and they made their mm-hmm. they greenlit a sequel. It's a good point. Yeah. So all right. What the fuck do we know? Yeah. Yeah. All right. We're but, a bunch of assholes uh, doing a podcast. Mm, I don't see another Cloverfield sequel coming up though. Yeah. Uh, so uh, uh, occasionally the uh, market does follow the quality. <laughs> 